Hey everybody, welcome to the Therapeutic Drumming Network. I'm Kalani and I'm really excited to sit down, uh, although briefly because she's on a whirlwind tour and she'll talk a little bit about that in a second with the talented Alessandra Bologna. Thank you so much. You're welcome and it's really a pleasure. A little surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy I could share this with you. Yeah. We're both on the same path. We are. For a long time. On the same yeah. path and the intertwining roads yes. of, of therapeutic wellness right. and drumming. Yeah. So tell, uh, yeah. tell me, what you know, I know what you do, but yeah. other listeners don't. So, what do you do? Well, I am known as a singer percussionist dancer, but I've been using now for a long time, for many years, the, the healing tradition of uh, southern Italy, which is known as the Tarantella, which is a trance rhythm, really, a 6 8 rhythm that has a lot of connection to Africa and uh, the 6 8, you know, famous African rhythm. Mm. I've been using that um, as a healing. Um, therapeutic drumming. I've been using it first on myself, I don't know if you knew this part of my story, that a long time ago when I, I was diagnosed with um, dysplasia, which is a mm. cancer cells of the cervix, mm. this was back in the late 80s, um, I had a surgery and then I went through a very strong spiritual initiation when I woke up from anesthesia with a vision of the Black Madonna. Then, so that's a whole beginning of a spiritual path, but I was already you know, doing the drumming and the dancing, and then I got sick again, and by that time I had studied a lot about the Southern Italian tradition of the Tarantella. They healed mainly women who suffer from different um, you know, unbalances, whether they were mental or emotional or physical. Mm. So I decided to do the dance and play the tambourine as a healing tool, because I, I, otherwise I was scheduled for another surgery. And I didn't believe in that anymore. I didn't believe that cutting things was the solution, right. especially with things that are inside, for the yeah. women keep inside, right. and that of course are emotional. So I did the dance and I played and I did it for a very long time. It was part of a show. The audience didn't know that I was doing it for real, mm -hmm. but it worked. I love that. Yeah. And I, I don't think I ever told you this, but yeah. it was, uh, I think it was 91, 1991. Uh -huh. um, and actually the bleeding stopped immediately immediately wow. and it never came back so I've always been fine thank God so that was my curiosity first I said okay worked on me but it must be more than just a myth because I had studied it as a as a legend more or less even mm -hmm. though it, it proved to be, in, in other words the Tarantella known as Pizzica Tarantella was an ancient form of music and dance therapy mm -hmm. and the people who induced the trance and healed them people who were suffering were the tambourine players mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was very shamanic and, and had that power. Now I know we don't have enough time to get into the music deeply, but I know people are wondering about the <laughs> yeah, drum, okay. and then when you say this and that, you know, they're wondering, well, what is that, right? So yeah. I guess we have to have a short a little... demonstration. Okay, so yeah. this is the Black Madonna on this drum. Uh, it's my own take on it. and I'll, So I can play the, um, the trance rhythm of the Tarantella, the Pizzica, which I call the spider dance. Normally, this is done for three days and three nights. <laughs> three days and three nights. <laughs> and that's what cures people. That is a super short example, <laughs> but I'm assuming people can find more on your website. Yes, with my name, alessandrabelloni.com, sure. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I teach these very strong, intense healing workshops um, once a year in Tuscany. Mm -hmm. That's been for 15 years. And that's where well, yeah, I want to really say that a lot of women that come to study with me, I'm, well, men are welcome always, but. Uh, a lot of women who have been abused, who have been suffering also, you know, from different kind of abuse, 
have experienced deep, deep healing through mm. the drumming and the mm. dance. Mm -hmm. So it's really a tool, and that's why I love what you're doing. Yeah. We need to empower more people, especially empower women who are in trauma. Yeah. Drumming and I, can help come out of trauma. And you know what I get from this, uh, and I'm sure people can, can take this from what you just did, is that this is not some sort of like sedative, mellow, this no. is like right in there. It's right in there, sure. And it's, it's right, so in a way, and I'm thinking as a music therapist now, and as a musician, right, that I can... Right, but that's... Yeah, I yeah. have some questions for you too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is it strange for a music therapist, this kind of... No, it's, it's exciting to me yeah. right now, uh, because what I see... You know, we have this thing called the ISO principle, right? We, we want to meet... ISO meaning same. And uh, I could see where if somebody has trauma, that that rhythm and that energy could really be meeting that. You know, yeah, in there, absolutely. you know, because what is that feeling of trauma? It's not like boom, boom, no, boom, boom, you know, not, it could right. be that uh, frustration and rage and anxiety, but then to mm -hmm. take it and make something positive out of it. Right. That's the essence of yeah. what I do. And I'm trying to bring it to the music therapy world, but it's not simple because it was music and dance therapy, but people don't know it as yeah. that. Well, and what I love now, about what today, you're... but it's mm -hmm. more shamanic, obviously. But that's a hard word to, to use. Yeah, I mean, it's all related the shamanic and right. and these the the people, the healers, and right. you know, like that Lane Redman talks about in her yeah. book, right? Uh, you know, yeah. yeah. She did a lot of that. Can I show this too? Really? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because there is the other rhythm that mm. I wanted to, to. So there are two th elements of the therapy in and that we use in drumming. One is the six eight, and one is the four four. Mm. And it's connected to the Black Madonna. So the beauty of our tradition, it's not something of the past. So in pre-Christian time, mainly women, as you know, as Lane Redmond, you know, wrote about, use these frame drums to honor different aspects of the goddess, the goddess of the earth, the moon. Mm -hmm. It's very complex. Mm -hmm. In Italy, we never lost that. So the Christian church absorbed that. And the Black Madonna is the figure that embodies all this, which is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. So when they have feasts, processions for the Black Madonna in the south of Italy, not in the north, drummers honor the Black Madonna. Some with snare drums, bass drums, mm -hmm. and a lot of them still using the frame drums as the ancient times. And tell people what this drum is, what the name is, and what it is. This is called tamorra. And tamorra means large frame drum. Mm -hmm. And the other one is called tamburello, mm -hmm. which means tambourine. And the tamorra, which we developed with Rimo, where we are now, which is a, I think has a great sound, mm -hmm. is used for the dance. It's called tamorriata, which just means drumming, frame mm -hmm. drumming. Mm -hmm. And it's a very sensual dance. If you see it done with castanets by a couple, it goes back to the ancient old rites of Dionysus, of majestic rites. So that whole element of sacred uh, sensuality is still part of our tradition. And that's why it's also effective to let go of things that are blocked. Mm. You know, bo it's both in the rhythm mm -hmm. and the movement. Mm -hmm. It really unblocks, uh, especially in the dance, it's all from, from here. And then the rhythm goes right through your heart. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I want to show you. <laughs> yeah. And this is a very loud drum. If that was loud, <laughs> this is even louder. <laughs> For six, seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of wine. <laughs> with with some wine. That's also therapeutic, though. In this case. Yeah, yeah. It's holistic, right? Yeah. Yes. So, and that's what's nice about yeah. what you're doing is you're giving people a whole cultural experience. True. It's that's not true. just the it's not just the drumming. No, it's true. So it's it's a cultural history. Experience. Yeah. Yeah. Knowledge. The the whole experience. Yeah. And tapping into these ancient roots, but it, we need it to bridge it to today that's what you do it's important that today people realize this 
Right. In the and past, they already knew that this could cure. Yeah. And we've got today... <laughs> Something happened in between that people who <laughs> lost it. Well, right? you know, yeah, there was I a know. movement away from those kinds of things that mm -hmm. seemed, I don't know what, whether it was pagan or just something about it. Maybe people yeah. didn't understand it, and so they right. kind of pushed and it away. Yeah. And now there is this, people are seeking out these things. Fantastic. More and yeah. more. And I like the fact that you're really just giving people this tool. Mm -hmm. now, it, That's and, my, my yeah. main mission in life. Yeah. <laughs> And it, and and it does take work, right? It takes work. A lot of work. You have to put in some time, but yeah, all that work is work, yes. is good. It's all good work. It's yeah. It's and also this drumming is very physical. Like you said, mm -hmm. it's not the meditation, like little tambourine, not at all. Yeah. It is physical, but that's what I see when people come to me who have been traumatized or been you know abused. I usually feel it, you know, because I have some psychic powers somewhere too. But but then I see that transformation before the dance. It happens with the drum. Mm. I can see that in their face, you know, if they're struggling in the beginning, then they start feeling really good about it, mm -hmm. that they're getting, because it's, mm -hmm. it's a, a primordial thing. I think at some point people remember, we did this in the ancient times. Yeah. It's in us. Right. So yeah. let go of all the Western, you know, kind of um, methods of, you know, if you're too cerebral, this is harder. Right. If you don't think so much and you go with the heart, yeah. you get it. You can get pat, you need the techniques Same with African a drumming. little bit, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but then once you get, once you get something going. Yeah, sure, you have to study the technique, of course. Yeah. A little, a, a, enough, right? Yeah. But then you can really, it, it'll just take care yeah. of you, right? Because the, the therapy comes in. Mm -hmm. It's a different energy. It's not just the learning the, the technique. It's, if something happens where you let go of your mind. Yes. And the body follows and the, yeah. then you play it and yeah. dance. Like anything, you know, when, when we move to another place, move to a better place, a better way of being, sure. we have to allow ourselves to do that. And this is a tool to help us, sure. you know, carry us sure. to that point. Right? Sure. Now, when you're working with people in the workshop or as a as somebody who's providing the service, mm -hmm. I don't know how that looks exactly. Maybe you can talk mm -hmm. a little bit about that. Yeah. But do you, is this always done in a group? But you did it solo for yourself or you did it in a group? Or no, what was so like? as a performer, I do it solo with my group and I always end up teaching certain things unless people are from the south of Italy. Mm -hmm. and in the workshop, it's, um, it's very, in the beginning, it's very technical because I break down the style and mm -hmm. I know I'm, I'm very proud of that because a lot of players don't know how to teach this technique mm -hmm. because it's a little bit obscure. Mm -hmm. But I, I love teaching because I love to see that development, especially if people are struggling mm -hmm blooming away yeah. you know so I, I start from scratch you know yeah. you move your hand like this you turn your hand up and then you go your hand down mm -hmm. for the triplet of the tarantella mm -hmm. and then the tamoriada I start from scratch you know I created my method which is with my book mm -hmm. is the cure mm -hmm. and so the slap doom I created the sounds with the voice because in, in either nobody taught me I had to learn mm -hmm. in the street mm -hmm. in most cases in folk tradition you gotta yeah. learn in the street right that's how and most people learn music Anyway, you hang out, right? And yes. You learn it. <laughs> so I, that's how I, I, I found the method because when I started working with Rima, I realized how am I going to translate this old tradition that I learned on the street to people who've never even come to Italy and never seen it. Yeah. So uh, I developed the method. So we go from you know beginning through all the patterns and in, in a workshop situation, that it's a week, it's ideal mm. because you repeat it every day and then mm -hmm. you go forward. Mm -hmm. um, I know I'm a hard worker, so a lot of students have said that to me, that I make them work very hard. Mm -hmm. And then when they think they're done, I go, one more thing! <laughs> Actually, one of my students in LA made this, one more thing! Oh, that's funny. <laughs> because I think it's important, I mean, if you have six hours a day, you gotta use them, you know? And right. So the physicality of this yeah. may seem a little threatening. Yeah. For people, it also depends on which shape. Not everybody's in a great shape. Yeah. But at the end, it proves to be totally therapeutic. Nice. And that's why I also worked in um, um, Mount Sinai with mental patients. Mm. That was an incredible experience. Mm. And um, I could get everybody to drum. What I've been doing lately, which I guess you didn't know, is also I do healing drum circles in a nursing home mm. using frame drums mm. for people who can't move. Yeah. And I know you probably have gone through this experience and people are like this mm -hmm. and then they hear this beat, you know, especially the mm -hmm. dum dum dum. Oh yeah. Well you can't sleep through that. <laughs> 
they start moving even if it's one hand. Yeah, time. they entrain to it, right? And the energy, they feel the energy. And they groove and, with me. Yeah, they can feel the beat, the groove, yeah. the energy, and they wake up and... But I, I think from a music therapist's point of view, there must yeah. be some scientific explanation what happens to them. Yeah, well I think people, start, just, people love music and, and you know, live right. music. Like this. Right, I mean, I'm sure. sitting right here, and I'm I feel, feel it, so yeah. much energy <laughs> coming up. Uh, but there's something about live music too that's really special, and that's why. All right, that's you know, true. This is an active practice. It's yes. Not like you it's don't do it through active. your earbuds. You, mm, no, and in, you don't learn it on YouTube either. I'm no, sorry. you can watch it. But yeah, yeah, you can watch it on YouTube. <laughs> but, but you don't learn. <laughs> no. You so a lot of young people have the impression that they can watch the Tarantella on YouTube right. and get it. It's not that way. It's like trying to learn how to drive a car on <laughs> YouTube or something. Not a good idea. Don't do it. No. All right. Well, Alessandra, they're, they, we've got a drum circle starting right, right. outside. Yes. We're at the Remo Center. With, with my yeah. She's right going to join the drum circle. <laughs> so I want to just thank you again. Thank you. For making thank the you time. for doing this. Yes. It's so important. And tell, I really support you. For thank you. Doing. Thank you. Well, we're in this together. I mean, we go way back, you know. Yeah, know. We've been on this road <laughs> long a long time. time. I know. So tell everybody uh, where, how they can contact you, and you know where they can find out about the instruments, right. And your website. So it's, yeah, my website is my name Alessandra Belloni. Should I spell it? A L E double S A N D R A B E L L O N I. Also Facebook, you know, Facebook Alessandra Belloni. YouTube Alessandra Belloni, and. Um, I can. My email is abelloni at aol.com if people are interested in knowing more and coming to Tuscany in the summer, it's in August, mm. it's beautiful, very affordable. I also give discounts to students because yeah. I really want people who need the therapeutic work to experiment and no. not, not, it's not just, so that's why I charge very little and I'd be a, available for anything to help people. And also the, my, my drums are available through my website but also at the Remo store. Mm -hmm. I think Remo.com, Alessandra Belloni. Yeah. All They're right. very special. They really sound good. They're awesome. I know. <laughs> and you can never break them. I play them. <laughs> One of the things I do ceremonies in the water, in the, uh -huh. in the ocean, I bring them in. Oh, it sounds wonderful. It's very beautiful. Is that, well, Tuscany is not near the ocean, right? No. But you can go to the ocean. Yeah, in the, in the south of Italy. South I'm of leading a tour in the south of Italy this summer, too beginning of August, through the, all the Black Madonna sites. Wow. That's also on my website. So there we open and end the tour with everybody with the tambourines in the ocean, in the sea. Mm. Oh my God. It's very beautiful. <laughs> that sounds amazing. It's very healing. Thank you so much. Transformation. Okay. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> thank, well, thank you. you Grazie. Grazie. Thank you Grazie. so much. <laughs> I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Me too. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching here with thank Alessandra you. Belloni mm -hmm. and uh, Tarantella. Check it out. And you can find out more on the therapeuticdrumming.net website. Thanks for joining us. That's great. I'm so glad you're there. How did you get